Money shot. I'm back. It's been over two months. I know. Really sorry about that. And to everyone who's still subscribed to me, thank you so much. But anyways, um, in these past few months, I have been playing more video games, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Gamers. And, you know, I actually got back into Minecraft. I know it was kind of cringy, but it's becoming popular, so I guess it's acceptable now. And so, of course, I'm going to be building something Minecraft related. I'm going to be building a Minecraft ghast. I'm going to attempt to replicate this as accurately as possible. The, the fireball part might be a little bit difficult, but we'll see. So let's just dive right into the project. So I knew from the start that I wanted the gas to look as real as possible. So what I did was divide the 20 by 20 sheets of foam board into 16 by 16 grids equally. And then after that, I followed pictures from the actual game in order to fill out every single square with the right color. This took a lot of time and effort, but the result was worth it. It looked very similar to the real thing, and even better in the air. I wanted the gas to be more dynamic than just a flat image on five sides. So I decided to use addressable RGB LED strips in order to create a glowing eye effect. Connecting the RGB LEDs was pretty simple. All I did was connect them to the dedicated LED pins on the flight controller, and this made configuration really easy. Next step was to actually fold up all the sides into a box shape. I did this by doing a bevel cut on every side and folding it up at a 90 degree angle. I wanted to keep this project as cheap as possible, so I used 3D printed brackets and the cheapest aluminum I could possibly find for the arms. This was pretty effective, but there was a considerable flex in the arms. For the power system, I used some really cheap Racer Star motors, a Kakute F4 flight controller, and some 30 amp Racer Star ESCs. Now, this power system wasn't optimal, but it was cheap and I had the parts, so I figured why not. The wire I used was way too thick, but that was all I had, and I, I bet it added a lot of extra weight. Now on the first flight I could tell right away that this would not be a good flyer. It vibrated way too much and it was very unstable. Alright guys, so this is uh, really, really, really close to being done. Um, I'm gonna do a test flight right now to see if this can even hold the weight because I am doubtful. Uh, if not, I'll have to improvise. If it does, then great. Next step is to add fireworks, but um, I'll do a little test flight right now to see how it goes. Let's go. So, the gas looked great in the air, almost like the real thing. However, the same couldn't be said about its flight characteristics. See, the thing is that it's so heavy that the power system just simply can't keep up, especially when doing a yaw turn. Because the way it works is that two motors slow down to allow the torque of the other motors to rotate the aircraft. But that means only two motors are pushing the aircraft up, and this just wasn't enough to keep the gas afloat. So I needed to find a solution for this. Alrighty. So here's the plan. So here I have two identical pieces in size. So this is foam board and this is paper. What's so special about these two things? Well, let's compare their weight. The foam board weighs in at approximately 
2.93 grams. However, if I put the paper of equal size on the scale, boom, it's about three times lighter. So, how am I going to apply this to the aircraft? Well, see all these white regions, right? I'm going to cut them out and stick paper on top of them. This way, I'm going to reduce the weight by as much as possible. It's going to be a lengthy process, but it should work. Let's go. All right, so I've replaced a lot of the foam board on the legs over here with paper. Uh, as you can see, I've removed a lot of material and probably a lot of weight. I didn't bother with the head because I don't think it's worth cannibalizing it for a few extra grams of uh, savings because it looks good as it is. And uh, yeah, now this thing is ready for fireworks. Uh, while this whole process was happening, I also did buy some fireworks over here little uh, rockets and a few bigger ones and yeah now I just need to figure out how to attach these fireworks to the gas and I'll be ready to fly let's go Okay, so my goal with this firework contraption is to not have them all go off at once, but in series. So here's what I came up with. This fuse gets lit by an electric coil, and then it trickles down as this one launches, and the next one, and the third, and the fourth. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not, so I'm gonna test it right now. I mean, four fireworks isn't that much to um, sacrifice, so I just don't wanna end up building something that doesn't work, so I'm gonna test this right now. Okay. Looks like it doesn't want to light the fuse. So we have a little problem over here. As you can see it burned it a bit, but not enough. Okay, so here's a different idea. Instead of having them glued apart, separated, I made them really close to each other. I think this will have a higher chance of lighting the next fuse. So I'm going to try it right now. Yes, it works. All right, guys, that's a success. Now I know what to go off of. See you in a bit. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. Uh, this uh, electronic speed controller brushed, it um, activates this coil over here, which lights the fuse and lights the fireworks. Now I have it set up on the output of motor five. So when I flick a switch on my radio, it activates this and shoots the firework. Now to see if this actually works in flight, I'm gonna launch this right now with this little rocket right here, just to see how it goes. And then if that works well, then I'll have I'll bring out the big guns, so let's go.
Put her away, put her away. It's, it's on fire, it's on fire, just leave it. Oh shit, yeah. put it away, put it away, Greg, put it away, you put it at us. I'm trying. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit, put it away, put it away, Greg, put it away, damn it. Oh my god. It's going, it's going. Oh god. Jesus. Is that that it? exploded the gas. Is that it? On the inside, yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Let me get some shots. Oh my god, I thank god it didn't hit the flight controller. Jesus Christ. Let me get some shots, let me get some shots. Oh, it's all smoky. I think it'll work though. I just did not know how much firepower this really had. Yeah. Jesus. Do a panorama. <laughs> <laughs> Batteries gonna look like smell like ass for now. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. It's a long but fun and rewarding experience. I'll probably be bringing this to Flight Fest, so if you want to see it in person. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I screwed up there. Uh, you see, as you have probably noticed already, I'm not the greatest at keeping track of everything and keeping everything on schedule. Same thing happened with this video. I actually ended up going to Flight Fest before I even started editing this, so I got some shots at Flight Fest of this thing in combat. So I guess that's more content, right? But now the timing's off on this whole video, so great. Okay, so I'm here at Flight Fest 2019, just about to enter this into combat. Should be uh, pretty great. So, yeah, this is the final flight that this will ever make, most likely. You know what? I don't care. Yeah, it's fine. It's not in too bad of a shape, but it could still fly. Yeah, good. I'm gonna oh, comic us uh... to the ground. Flying better than ever, Drake. Oh god. <laughs> Alright guys, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of effort into it and I think it was worthwhile, I'm not sure. Now I want to try doing more of this pop culture related stuff, so let me know in the comments how you feel about this. I definitely want your input. And uh, as always, I am open to project suggestions, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Now if you enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like, I don't know, kind of helps encourages me but other if you don't want to hit that dislike button that also works and yeah till next time